Okay, guys, like I was saying, this is the Canik TP9SF Elite. This is a 9mm handgun, holds 15 rounds, and it comes from Turkey. So, let's get into the unboxing video, guys, because that's why we're here. You got the bore brush up here. One of the things I like about the Canik is that when you get it, it comes with and now saw the waistband holster that you see right here. I'll get into more detail on this later. Right here is the paddle of your paddle holster. You have two 15 round magazines that come with the handgun. You get one extra back strap. You get a magazine loader some more paperwork uh, extra fiber optic sights for your canic and this is how you change out your rear grip panel with this little pin here and then you have a trigger lock. This goes over the trigger of your firearm and it can lock it so you know children or anyone else who shouldn't be touching your gun doesn't touch your gun. Now next, we have your little chamber flag and then this thing. You got your paperwork right here in the back. And now, oh yeah, and uh, your cleaning rod. All right, and here is the Canik TP9 SF with your holster that comes from Canik. You can see that. Canik, there you go. It's also the waistband holster that has the little strap on it right here to retain your pistol. If you don't want that, you can simply just take it off and remove it and then it still retains the pistol. You have your holster uh, screw so you can mount your paddle holster however you want. And this is your Canik TP9SF. Unload it, clear. Like I said, it comes with two 15 round magazines. It is slightly larger than the Glock 19. It was at the gun store, I compared it next to a Glock 19 Gen 5. The barrel was a little bit longer and the grip was a little bit longer than the Glock. But I still went with this pistol because they didn't have any 19s and I actually like the Canik. I like the trigger. The grip was nice. And I love the sights with the blacked out rear and the red fiber optic or a green fiber optic depending on what catches your eye most. But these sights with the blacked out rear and the either a red or white dot front sight really, really helps me shoot and it's honestly become one of my preferred uh, sights on a pistol. So that's kind of why I went with the Canik TP9 Elite. So that was the unboxing. Then I'm gonna get into some of the features of the pistol and how to take it down. All right, so some of the features of the Canik is a striker fired pistol. Uh, trigger pull around five, six pounds, uh, give or take, depending. I don't have a trigger gauge. Uh, you got front slide serrations right here for those who like to press check. You got three slots on your uh, Picatinny rail down here, so if you want to mount a light or a laser, that's you can go ahead and do that. It has an extended slide uh, lock, slide release. It's a little longer than uh, than the Glock, but yet it still stays close to the pistol and doesn't stick out much. You got your takedown tabs right here 
on both sides. You have a loaded chamber indicator. Right there, when it sticks up, when you have a round loaded. It has a cocking indicator. You see that little dot, and then it disappears. And it comes back when it lets you know the pistol is cocked. Does not necessarily mean the pistol is loaded. It just means the pistol is cocked and ready to fire. And it disappears when you pull the trigger. The Canik TP9 comes with Warren Tactical, uh, blacked out rear, red or green fiber optic front sight. Uh, the trigger guard is rounded with some serrations on front if you like to grip the trigger guard, which I will do you know, sometimes depending on what I'm doing when I'm shooting. Uh, the serrations on here on the rear, they are grippable, but they do not really, it's kind of smooth if you get what I'm saying. It doesn't really stick out too much or is not as, the cuts aren't as sharp, but still, you can still get a good purchase on your rear uh, serrations. You got you know, interchangeable back straps. You got your pin, so you punch it out and change the back strap if you like. I prefer this back strap, I don't really need a bigger one. You got serrations and your Canic logo. And you got more serrations or stippling on the front and on the rear of your pistol. Let's see, what else? Uh, magazine, 15 rounds. Uh, you, it's not ambidextrous, but it can be moved. And again, just extend this slide lock, slide release. The trigger on this thing is really nice, so unclear. There's your brake. And the reset I love. Here's watch the reset. Right there. That is a positive reset. Right there. Like my trigger finger barely moves. And reset. Uh, reset. And it fires. So that I really like about this Canic TP9 SF. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to take down the pistol. You have your two tabs on here that you just pull back like a Glock. Let go, pull the trigger, and it pops off. And you have your frame of your pistol. Looks like a normal striker fired. You have your recoil spring, which is captured. And then you have your barrel. This looks like a standard striker fire barrel. And then put it back together. You should do the same thing in reverse. Make sure everything goes the way it should be. Now when it comes to putting on your Canic pistol, of reassembling it I should say, this right here, uh, I think extractor is in the way. So that with your Glock, you just put the Glock on and slide it all the way back. With a Canic, you don't do that. You have to find the spot where it sits like that, how it just drops and then and you pull it back just like that. So I'm gonna do it again if you missed it. Here's your extractor and the slide has to go over the top of that extractor. Sit down just like that and then and your pistol is ready to go. That is how you fill strip your Canic TP9 SF Elite.